All right, y'all, so we are back with another VV and Ecomi video, and this one we're going to be going over something pretty big. I think it's a pretty interesting topic. I know a lot of people still ask me for my opinions, my thoughts on the project and stuff like that, and I know a lot of you all know I am diving into other things. I'm still investing. I'm still going hard into other stuff, but I just don't really speak much on those things because obviously most of you all want to hear about VV and Ecomi and some of the things going on there. And I mean, I will be expanding the channel at some point, but truthfully at this point in time, I'm more focused on learning more so than trying to present stuff as I'm learning because that's what I did with Vivi and Ecomi and I was diving in, diving in really my, my entire career in this community is built off me learning with you all. Literally, I was reading through stuff. We were finding all the information and stuff like that together. And while it was fun, it led to a lot of false expectations and unrealistic expectations. And I would rather just know a little bit more about a lot of the stuff that I'm studying before I speak more so on a lot of things. So I've just really been in student mode studying and, and things like that. But it has given me a, a different perspective and outlook towards Vivi in some ways as well. So yeah, that's what we'll be going over. I'll be giving you all some of my thoughts on Vivi and Ecomi and the Omi token and how it all, you know, how I'm looking at everything. So, um, First off, am I still investing in VV and Ecomi? Absolutely not. Um, but am I letting go of the investments that I do have? Absolutely not. Um, I do believe in the project. I definitely believe in the project. But the more that I'm seeing the space, I see the, the pace that certain projects are evolving and moving forward and stuff like that. And, it, and some of the, the most likely to be legitimate and you know, successful projects in the space, seeing how frequently they'll update their white papers. Like some companies that came out around the time VV did, they, they've updated their white papers since. They've updated their white papers multiple times since. And it's like VV doesn't really do anything. And, and I don't even know what it would look like if they did update their white paper. Like we don't really know what VV is planning to offer. And and where it's planning to go. I mean, obviously, we know that they're planning to make a metaverse, but we've heard of multiple new metaverses since that promise, since since we were, we were told we were going to see Batman scaling walls and things like that. We've actually seen real metaverses released since then, and there's been no, no, no comments on stuff like that when it comes down to VV. So, with that being said, at the same time, I know that in the world that VV's in, the licensing world, it takes a long time. And that's why I do still have faith in Vivi. I have faith they're going to get it together. I have faith because they're not a tech company. It may take them longer than some other companies. But I think that Disney is partnered with them for a reason. I think that Marvel and Disney keep them so close for a reason. And it still doesn't change some of the things like the Disney CEO. Like the way that he was communicating, the language that he was using for the metaverse. I feel like a lot of that is strongly inspired from Vivi and the Ecomi team. So I think that a lot of, uh, I think that there, Vivi and Ecomi is going to be involved in some way. And I think because the Omi token is there. Now, yes, the Omi token, would things probably be easier for Vivi if they didn't have obligations to the Omi token side of things? Absolutely. I think that it would probably be easier. But I think that it is there. And I believe that they are going to get around to the token. I just don't believe it's high up on their list of priorities. They are bringing in money still, good money still. And... I think that there's other things a lot more important than to be focusing on the OMI token because getting the OMI token on exchanges and stuff like that just so us investors can make money, why would that be at the top of their list when they have an entire platform to, you know, push forward so it can keep surviving and thriving in the current ecosystem that's constantly advancing? So are they going to sit here and not try to be competitive in, in the NFT space or are they going to sit here and not be competitive in that space just to cater to us who want to make money or are they going to focus on being competitive that way in the future we'll have a reason to be making money by holding the omi token so i'm just looking at it from the, from the perspective that i think omi token progress is many years off i'm gonna be honest with y'all i think it's many years off especially a lot of the highs that a lot of people in the community needs now you got people like who's way way deep in with where all they need to see is like a couple of cents or get back to all times high and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know when stuff like that can happen. I don't know when we can expect that. Um, probably, we could probably see some crazy movement once the project gets onto exchanges. Because I think I think the catalyst 
a lot of the biggest catalysts, which is the IP, is still there. Like that 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 catalyst is still there. So at the point where this is listed on a Coinbase, this is listed on a Robinhood, this is listed on a Binance, this the same narrative exists. That narrative has not gone anywhere. You know, you can still say these are the biggest brands in the world. These are the first appearances of these brands. These these NFTs can be put here or there, and you can purchase it using the OMI token, and you get certain benefits using the OMI token. I think that these are systems in design. What I feel is most important for VV at this point in time is securing these partnerships, Compu securing these um, strategic partnerships with companies like Disney, where hopefully they can get a little place secured in this Disney and Fortnite deal. Hopefully they can get some places secured and some other deals and stuff happening that we may not even know anything about at this current point in time. So I do think the priority for this project, if the OMI token is going to thrive, should be them focusing heavily on VV. It's, it's just the only way that a legitimate business should be moving. Something heavily focused on pumping a token, I, that is probably going to be a pump and dump. But the fact that they're actually trying to bring a reason for the token to be valuable is interesting. And then there is not enough clarity in the space surrounding the token. So why 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 put ip and stuff like that at risk when there's when the space is still developing there's no need to be for them to be taking risk they have the first appearances already they have accomplished a lot that, a lot of the stuff that they wanted to accomplish now but th this is also i believe this but this is also why i'm not investing in vivi or ecomi right now this is why i'm not interested in investing right now because we're in the middle of a bull run bro you know how much money there is to be made i had an investment two days ago go up 200%, like 200% just two days ago. And it's like, am I gonna be missing out on that? Because of, you know, because because I believe in, in this project? No, I can keep my faith in this project and still do what makes sense, learn about the overall space and, and, and grow in that area. Because like I told you all, this was investing for me. And because I've always done stuff like gaming and I, I, I was programming for a while, but even when I was programming, it was geared towards gaming I've always been in a more of a childish, childish niches and things like that. So trying to wrap my head around this big boy stuff and really understand it at the level I need to to be successful in this arena, um, it's been a journey for me. And I think that Vivi was a great introduction for me. It introduced me through things I understood. Batman, Superman, it's like yeah, Pokemon. Like, of course, you're going to like you can kind of it was a good stepping stone for me to learn things. But now I'm, I'm looking at companies that, that's trying to move computing power ahead and, and companies partner with NVIDIA and, and all type of... So now I'm trying to wrap my head around all types of other bigger things. My bad, y'all. I got a call right in between the video. I don't even know where it started, but hopefully it's not too annoying. It wasn't too annoying. But um, anyway, like I was saying, um, now I'm trying to wrap my head around these bigger concepts and bigger things to grasp and understand. And I'm, I'm just as excited about this stuff. I Honestly, I'm more excited about this space, the future, what it means, AI technology and things like that, what this all means for our world, what this all means for us as investors, where all of this is going. I've gotten much, I've fallen much more in love with this stuff because that's that's what I that's what I learned to love through through learning the collectibles and learning the, you know, like that's what Vivi, Vivi has opened a lot of doors for me in terms of just even my own knowledge and my level of thinking and things like that. And I think that when you're open, open-minded, I, I mean, a project like Vivi has done a lot for a lot of people. So, I mean, this is, I can never say this is an investment that I regret. I just had unrealistic and false expectations. And I thought that they could do things that, they were never qualified to do in the first place. And I couldn't see their lack of qualifications because I wasn't qualified to make such a judgment. I had no experience looking at companies and seeing if they're capable of delivering. Like I could see back then my logic was so simplified. It was crazy. It's, oh, David has had successful businesses. He says Dan has had successful businesses. Al Khan has been successful. They've had all this success. So of course this is going to be successful. And to an extent it was, but it was successful in the areas that they were strong in. The licenses and IP, they secured those and they were able to sell them. That's what they do. All of this other stuff is just speculate. We don't, they've never been successful in these areas. We don't know if they will be. We know that they'll probably figure it out because they don't leave, they don't fail and things like that. They keep going and keep trying, but um, all the other companies in the space isn't gonna slow down. So even if they get it right, who says they get it right in time? 
So there's a lot more risk in the project than I initially believed and I initially realized. And yeah, it just took a lot of time for me to actually grow and understand so much stuff, understand the things that I didn't know, um, for me to really see see what, what I feel when it comes down to the project. And honestly, I still believe in the project. I still believe in the project. I don't think that Disney gave them all these first appearances and Disney gave them these very big pieces and gave them the opportunity that Disney's given them just to throw them to the side now that they're working with Fortnite. Because the fact of the matter is, instead of ever working with Vivi, if Disney wanted to work with Fortnite, they could have done that from the start. Fortnite already had the same IP that they gave Disney. So they never had to they never had to make Vivi this middleman. Like they they saw something in Vivi. Um they saw the collectors, they saw the vision. They the Vivi has convinced all these big brands to get on board. Vivi also convinced all of us to get on board. Now, I hate the fact that a lot of what what, what was convincing for us the transparency, the openness, the the selling us on the dreams that they had. I hate the fact that a lot of that is gone because it's very very important. But I feel like I look at things this way. They don't want to promise things that they're not sure that they can deliver because they're taking more of a professional approach. But, I mean, these false narratives are still going to be spread regardless. If you say nothing, that is saying something. So that's that leaves room for anyone to interpret whatever they want to interpret. So I feel like when you say nothing, it's a problem. And when you say something, it's a problem. I would rather you talk to us and allow those of us with an actual brain to who can who's capable of understanding and being reasonable and things like that let us decide. But it looks very sketchy when they don't want to let us decide and they want to decide for us. And I think that that completely goes against the whole web three. You, you, it completely goes against it. You're controlling the narrative. You're, <laughs> you're centralized. You control everything. You control the information. You, you, you're in control and no one in this space likes that. And the more I am jumping into the centralized projects and things like that, the more, the more I'm understanding, the more I'm seeing, you know, why so many people aren't jumping into Vivi and how naive the narrative that, oh, all these guys are going to jump into Vivi for the opportunity on Vivi when, when they get all this big money. I, I think that that's a very risky thing to think. What I think is more likely is Vivi is going to have to prove itself to be a Web3 company or to have some things of... Now, I think that Vivi is going to have to prove itself more so in the entertainment space. Vivi is going to be a platform built with Web3 technology that's probably more so similar to, like they said, they call it Web 2.5, bro. It, it, it's just like it's just like Quid. It's just like Quid, in my opinion, except for better in some ways. That that's what it is. So I don't I don't even look at Vivi as a Web3 company as much as I did before. I don't look at it the same way that I used to look at it. Um, especially once you start looking and seeing at what else is out there, it is a it like I said it still it does have potential, but there's so much uncertainty around that potential, and I think that, but I, I also don't think that is bad them collaborating with Disney and trying to find a way to fit under that Disney umbrella and ecosystem. I I, I think that them getting in there and securing that partnership, securing that family type thing with Disney, I think that that was a great move for Vivi. It's going to be very beneficial for Vivi, and I think that some of that will trickle towards us. I just don't think that that is their priority, and nor do I believe that we're going to see these big, insane moves that we saw last time because a lot of that, we don't know. Parts of it was manipulation. Parts of like, it, it was so much stuff. It was so much stuff happening, man. Now, obviously, some people got convinced to buy things for 50K and 100K and stuff like that a couple of times, but... And so we know people are willing to spend that type of money on the project, but are they actually going to do it? And and, and at this point in time, it, the sentiment is not the same. Of course, they were willing to spend that then, but can Vivi get that sentiment back? I think that that's going to be a big question moving forward into the future. So I, hopefully they can get that sentiment back. Hopefully they can, you know, hopefully they can do a good job of restoring confidence and, and, and actually delivering the things that they promised, because I think that that would take, that would, that would, push them very, very much more towards getting all those people back and building that trust again. But um, yeah, I think that Vivi is going to take time. It could take 10 years, maybe longer, 10 years, maybe longer from here. Like, I mean, from here, it could take 10 years, maybe longer, you know? So looking at it from that perspective, um, yeah, it's better things for me to be doing in a bull run than to be investing in Vivi. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's not that I don't believe in the project. I just believe in a lot of other stuff a lot more than I believe 
that Vivi is going to be taken off anytime soon. They have a lot of work to do. They're building a legitimate company, and I think a legitimate company like Vivi, over the long run, those type of companies are going to win out. But in the short term, look at, we got Bonk. We got Bonk blowing up. We got Boom blowing up. Bro, we got all types of random stuff blowing up right now that has not, that, that has nothing legitimate about it. So, yeah, it's like that's the ecosystem we're living in right now. So why was something legitimate like Vivi that's taking forever to deliver it? Like, it's crazy when a lot of the sketchy stuff looks more reassuring than Vivi. And that's just the ecosystem. It's like, it's like the people being honest about how bad Vivi was performing looked looked terrible at one point in time. Then gave it enough time, they started they started to look more reasonable. It's like you just got to give Vivi some time, and I feel like it's going to look a lot better. That initial excitement with all of us was uneducated, really, when Vivi first came out. Boom, that was one thing, but that was luck. Now, from this point where we are right now, I think Vivi has to work and build where it's going to go. And I'm here for the. They have they have a chance with me. They have a chance with me. I don't know who they who they have lost for good, but they've they made some poor decisions. People have lost money with Vivi, but and not of their own doing. Like people could take losing money, but the fact that you only have this on poor exchanges and only token on poor exchanges, and you had to close down transfers because y'all didn't have your shit together. It's a lot of stuff that's going on that's costing people a lot of money and a lot of opportunity. So who knows if everybody will be as forgiving? Me personally. I'm interested in seeing where VV goes. Um, and yeah, I, I think that it could still do it could still do well. But yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll see over a long enough time frame if if um VV can get it together. But that being said, I'm chilling right now, y'all. I'm chilling. I'm not looking to invest in VV. I'm I'm not I don't, I'm not expecting anything major from VV. And more than likely anything that blows up in VV, I have other investment that'll blow up way faster, way go way farther than VV will this bull cycle anyway. Um so yeah, but by the next bull cycle, maybe the one after that, I think that VV will actually be a contender. But until then, we just got to let them keep working, keep developing. They've sh proven that they're going to be slower when it comes down to development than most of the space. We just got to put up with that. Hopefully, they hire the right people, put the right people in place, and they, their development times speed up a lot. But yeah, I believe that they'll figure it out. Let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.